Do you know what time it is? It is last week in April, that means it is National Stationery Week. I'm not sure if that's a thing that just exists in Britain. I was never aware of it until I moved here, but I'm very happy about its existence because it is a great time to make this video for you. A video in which in two days we're gonna visit five of my favorite stationery shops here in Edinburgh and we're gonna spend all of our pocket money on all of the amazing stuff we're gonna find and we hope that you're gonna join us and enjoy all the money spending stationery time. Now we are at a place that's kind of a newcomer on the stationery scene here in Edinburgh. Uh, they've been here for about a year now. They are called uh, Paper Parade and they are in Morningside. Morningside is kind of, um, it's a bit away from the center, but if you live in Edinburgh or if you're staying for a longer time or if you're staying around like Brunsfield area, it's actually really easily accessible. Also, Edinburgh is tiny, so it's really not a problem. I mean, Cara just told me that she comes here from Glasgow for work, so there you go. It's easy to get to Paper Parade. Anyway, this place was opened by two designers slash illustrators. Uh, it's a super cool female-owned shop, Endeavor, and I super love all of the like originally made cards here and wrapping papers and they even do calligraphy lessons here so if you're around for you know a larger amount of time or if you live here you should look at their website which i'm gonna link either here or in the doobly-doo down below and you should check out if you can uh, attend one of their calligraphy classes We are in Life Story, which is a really cool store here at the bottom of Broughton Street. Uh, that's kind of when you go to the terminal of the tram, so like east end of Princess Street and then downwards deep into Newtown. Uh, they are open Wednesday to Sunday and they have all sorts of cool Scandinavian stationery, home accessories and also you can grab a little coffee here while you're visiting. Uh, so you have all the energy for browsing amazing Scandinavian design stationery. I love coming here on like special days. Uh, for example, today is our anniversary, so maybe Simon is gonna get me one of those great sketchbooks they have here. That's my strategy that I apply to visiting Life Story. A lot of the, lot of the brands I see here, I remember from Copenhagen, so if you can't make it to Copenhagen, this is the next best thing. Now we're gonna visit a place called Curiouser and Curiouser. That's a mouthful. It's on Broughton Street as well, so it's right opposite from Life Story. And they have two shops in Edinburgh, one on Broughton Street and one in Brunsfield. 
Uh, the one in Brunsfield is supposed to have a, a slightly better amount of stock, at least right now. So that's my pro tip for you that I got from the amazing Laura from the shop. You can find some cool Korean and Japanese stationery in Curiosity, which I love. Uh, there's great books, great illustrated books as well. And um, one of my favorite things is also art prints, because they are like the only place in Edinburgh that I know that stock uh, Dick Vincent uh, art prints and Dick Vincent is one of my favorite illustrators right now. I think that until end of April they have a 10% discount on all art prints, so take advantage of that. This amazing colorful place is the Edinburgh Art Shop. It's really close to the Edinburgh University College of Art and the Meadows as well. If you're a student at the Edinburgh University or I guess anywhere else, you will get 15% off, which is amazing because this place has like 150 kinds of sketchbooks, which always fascinates me. There's this, when you enter, there's this uh, amazing tower of sketchbooks and they come in all the shapes and all the sizes and all colors and I just want to adopt them all. Also they have a really nice selection of markers which you know you can't really get everywhere these days. They have a lot of brush markers, you know the Tombow brush markers and Copic markers as well. So if you're into that, if you run out of your favorite colors for your <laughs> little journal or whatever you're into these days, uh, you need to come here and buy one of them here. Tiger in West End and there's another one on Lothian Road but this one is actually worth the bit of extra walking because it's much larger it's uh, it has two floors and they have everything they have so many great Edinburgh themed souvenirs if that's what you're into if you're a visitor but they also have stationery I haven't seen anywhere else before especially not here in Edinburgh they also have a lot of really cute toys I personally own three of these at home so yeah I feel like I'm home um, another thing that I have to recommend is that they actually make their own chocolate but um, they don't only have the paper tiger chocolate, they have so many other really cool design sort of small batch chocolates here. So, you know, a great place to pick up gifts. Oh, <laughs> oh,
that is a wrap on our two days of amazing exploration of Edinburgh's best stationery and art shops. I'm gonna show you some of the souvenirs that I picked up during uh, these two days. Uh, so, in Paper Tiger, I got this really cute uh, patch, embroidered patch with a cute little sun. <laughs> and also I found this postcard that just says, the beasts are coming! It just sounded kind of ominous and hilarious to me. Uh, in Curiouser, you can buy quite a lot of products uh, designed by Papio Press, which is a couple of designers slash illustrators who make amazing stuff. This particular thing is a set of four, I think there's eight, but four designs of like jungle wildcats. Super cute. Uh, in Edinburgh Art Shop, I found this amazing uh, bicolor pencil. Uh, it has like the non-photo blue and is there such a thing as non-photo red? I know that some people use red as an alternative to non-photo blue. This one has both. I just want to draw things with it and it can be a totally photo blue and red. Uh, in the ever so amazing life story, uh, I got or Simon got me uh, this great sketchbook, which is uh, that sort of like backless type, so you can uh, open it up and lay it super flat. It has a nice thick paper and it's really sort of thick and it will last me for effing ever. It also has this little bit of like craft paper in the middle. Very cute. Uh, and in Paper Parade, I got a couple of their, you know, their own designed cute little cards. This one says always on your team. Very supportive whenever my friends are doing a bit shittily in their life. I can send them these amazing cards. So that's that. I have no money left but I'm so happy. This was so much fun. Thank you for watching and if you were assisting me with making this video Thank you too. It was amazing meeting all of these people behind these great shops here in Edinburgh. I hope that uh, everyone who's watching this video will try to visit as many of these as possible and spend all of their travel money. Do it, do it. I know you want to. And I will see you soon in our next video about Edinburgh or stationery. It's probably gonna be about one of these things. Okay, thank you so much for watching.